this, yeah. Imagine this. It's real interesting to me that you have so many of our children that reach the age of 18, can't read, can't write, can't do math, but somehow they memorize every song on the radio. They can tell you the whole storyline of love and hip hop. They can do all kinds of stuff, dribble basketball, throw football, sing and dance and entertain white folks to the end of time, but don't have the basic fundamental skills that they need to survive in a racist capitalist society. This is not anti-football, this is not anti-dancing, not anti-singing, not anti-none of that. I sing every day. But before you get into this nonsense, you gotta take care of business. You must take care of business. In fact, from a fundamental standpoint, if you want one piece of very essential, critical advice, every black child in America must learn the fundamentals of starting their own business at a very early age, before they learn anything else. That's right. Before you send your child to college so they can go $150,000 in debt for a degree, yeah. and get a job. make sure that your child spends that summer learning how to start a business. You are feeding your kids to the slaughterhouse. Mm -hmm. When you send your child at the age of 18 out into this economy without the fundamental skills that they need to create their own job or take care of themselves in case the white man ain't hiring, you are feeding them to the slaughterhouse. That's you see, right. some people try to say that black people don't have a role in this economic system, and, and that's not true. We have a role. We have a role. We're there for somebody else's benefit, somebody else's exploitation. What up, everybody? It's your man, Player T. That's me. I'm right here at the Oppressed People's Convention. I'm right here with Dr. Boyce Watkins. How you doing, sir? Doing good, brother. How are you? I'm fantastic. Real quick, what's a brief synopsis of some of the things you were talking about that we need to do to break the cycle of, of poverty, you know, that's running rampant in our community for so long? It's important to understand that uh, how you uh, view economics is the fuel for your activism. It's very difficult to do activism without an economic engine because if you don't understand economics and you're trying to be an activist, then you're going to end up begging white people for money, which really undermines the power of your position. So, um, the, you know, there's very simple things. Um, we have to treat entrepreneurship and economic uh, development as almost like a religion in our families. Economic empowerment, cooperative economics, meaning loving black people as you're making your money. Um, that has to be something that's talked about in every household. Every black child in America should learn how to start their own business. Um, you also want to uh, push forward just a, a culture where we support each other and love each other enough to want to buy from each other. In fact, you could go to a college student and tell them that they should study five hours a day and see how quick they look at you like you're crazy. Like, you know, oh, Lord, Lord, I can't do that. That's too much. That's too much work. But here's the interesting thing to me. That same person who will say that I can't sit down and study four or five hours a day to build my future will get up and go to work for a white man at McDonald's for 10 hours a day and ask no questions whatsoever. <laughs> You don't know, that, that is a slave mentality. When you can only work hard when somebody's telling you what to do, but you can't work half as hard to build your own future, that means that you respect your boss when that white guy is instructing you, but you don't respect your boss when you're working for yourself. You respect what he's built, but you don't respect what you could possibly build. So before we ever talk about anything about black economics and black wealth building or anything like that, we got to build our self-esteem. It has to start with love. You got to love yourself. You got to love your people. You know, because here's the thing. I mean, we don't really need um, more wealthy Negroes. We got a lot of wealthy black people out here. What we need are wealthy black people who actually give a damn about the black community. What up, everybody? It's your man, Player T. That's me, Hollywood in the hood. You know, I got the live stream talk show on the internet right here in Cleveland, Ohio for the past 10 years streaming live. I talk with some of everybody, celebrities, up and coming, pillars of the community, you name it. For the past 10 years, doing it really, really big. We got tons of traffic on my website and I wanna offer some of those same services to your business. I wanna do that, I wanna take you to the next level. I can do that, I can do that including TV. I shoot TV commercials, shoot it, edit it, put it right up on Time Warner, Comcast, Dish Network, you name it. Any cable channel of your choice, we do it big. Radio, print, billboard, mobile, street team distribution. I mean, we'll get out there, we'll print the flyers, we'll put them out in the streets, 
get them in the hands of the people, put the posters up, it's a wrap. Call us up, you know the numbers, if you don't, 216-971-8087. Again, for multimedia promotions, get playertshow.com, Hollywood in the Hood, a call. Very affordable, we get the job done, we're all about results. Now that the money's coming in